Hello everyone, Jeff here with an example of some terminology in futures markets or forward markets. These would also apply to options markets. Uh, determining somebody's net position, also trade volume and open interest. In this example, we have a sprocket exchange. It has just opened for the first time and some trades are going to take place on the first day. To keep things simple, one contract is for one sprocket to be delivered in December. So uh, we have three different trades being made here. First five contracts traded with David Long and Ethan Short as a reminder. David Long means that David is, assuming this is a futures or a forward, that David is obligated to buy five sprockets in December and Ethan is obligated to sell five sprockets in December. We also have 10 contracts traded with Ethan Long and Fran Short, and then 10 contracts traded with Fran Long and David Short. And the first question, find the net position of each person at the end of the day. So David uh, has first traded five contracts long and we usually think of those long positions as being positive numbers. There's no particular reason for that other than long sounds like a positive thing and short sounds like a negative thing. Uh, so David is long five contracts. We'll represent that by plus five. But then later in the day, he does also trade 10 contracts short. Uh, these are going to leave him at minus five, which means his net position is going to be five contracts short. And kind of the idea here is that when you make two trades in a forward market and they are in opposite directions, one long and one short here, they don't all remain open. So David does not have five contracts long and 10 contracts short. At the end of the day, he, they net out. He has five contracts short. Ethan in the first trade is five contracts short. And later in the day, he is 10 contracts long, which means at the end of the day, it looks like plus five there, at the end of the day, he is going to be five contracts long. Again, he did two different things. They net out at the end to be five contracts long. Fran, in this trade, is 10 contracts short. And then in the next trade is 10 contracts long. That is zero. So what does that mean? That means that Fran has no net position. She has no contracts. She is no longer in this market at all. So again, this is sort of the same thing we said with David, except for a special case here. Uh, Fran is not 10 contracts short and 10 contracts long at the end of the day. If you take a position, 10 contracts short, and then take the opposite position, 10 contracts long, you've closed your position, you're done. That's how you get out of the market. So Fran now has no position. Second question, find the day's trading volume. The trading volume is just the number of contracts that have been traded added up. 5, 10, and 10 is 25. This is sort of the not a trick question question. Uh, you just add up the contracts traded there. Uh, and it is 25, not 50. So for example, when we say five contracts are traded with David Long and Ethan Short, that is five contracts traded, not 10. Uh, this is 10 and not 20 and so on. So 25 contracts have been traded. The open interest is uh, a, can be more tricky uh, unless you look at the technical definition, which makes it kind of simple. So the open interest is how many contracts now exist in the world. And it's not 25 because of what we were saying up here. When people take opposite positions, they net out. So the technical definition of open interest makes this a lot easier, which is that it's the total number of contracts long, parentheses, or it's the total number of contracts short, close parentheses. So the open interest here is five, 
because there are five contracts long and five contracts short. At the end of the day, there are only five contracts. Ethan is long those contracts and David is short those contracts. This is also a good way to check your work, by the way. When you're done with all of the positions netting them out, you do need to have an equal number uh, on the long side as on the short side. So five contracts here.